Greetings, Sacred Mamas. How are y'all doing today? I hope well. So, today I wanted to do um, a video, just a quick um, video on breastfeeding, nursing. I have a couple of other videos, but I want to do this specific video because I had a question today about breastfeeding via social media and the question was um if i had any tips on sore nipples and um you know it was expressed that um the nipples were sore and hurting um and so my response to that is um yes i do um but of course, um, I had to dig deeper and ask questions as anyone um, should before giving answers. So in doing this video, I'm going to give some tips on um, dealing with sore nipples if you are nursing. But keep in mind that it could be a number of things that could be causing the soreness. Um, and so I would... Um, recommend that you see a lactation consultant um just to get to the root core the root cause of what is causing those sore nipples um as i dug deeper um and asking questions and things of that nature i was better able to assist and and give um some different tips so if you have sore nipples um, you want to look at, is it just the nipples that's sore or are your breasts sore as well? Um, because if the breasts are sore and hurting, if you are developing, um, any sores on the breast, it could be an infection within a breast. But if you are not having any, um, it could be. So let me take, let me, let me go back a little bit. So it could be a, an infection, but not necessarily if you're dealing with soreness in the breast, it could also be that there is some, maybe you have a clogged duct and, um, and that's cause the, the milk is not, um, coming out, um, as efficiently and you're not, um, emptying out your breast as efficiently too. So when I was talking to this mom, asking questions, I got to, um, the bottom of some things. So she has sore nipples, both right and breast. And I believe she said her left breast, um, was sore as well. And I asked her some questions. I was like, you know, any sores or anything like that? None of that. Um, I said, you know, um, is, does that left breast feel heavier than the right? You know, asking those questions. So just from, just based on what she was telling me, um, when I was asking her the questions, my inclination was that she's not emptying one breast completely. Um, she did say that the baby nurses on both breasts 15 minutes each. Um, but considering that it was only one side that was hurting, um, there was no other um, sores or anything like that on the breast. Um, just based off of what she was telling me, it seems like even though the baby is lactating on both sides, that left breast is not emptying out completely. Um, so those are some things to think about. Now, some tips on healing from sore nipples, sore breasts. One of the things that you may want to do, especially if you're dealing with, it's not an infection, um, because if it's an infection, then you do have to see your primary care physician to, um, assist you in that. There are some other um, home remedies that I've heard of, but I've never had to use because I've never had a breast infection. Um, but there are some um, home remedies that you could um, utilize um, as well to assist if it's an in infection. But like I said, I would prefer for you to see a pri your primary care physician or a, um, a an herbalist. Um, which I am neither. Um, so, and I've, like I said, I've not, um, been through it myself. I've just studied on, um, you know, just different infections that you can get within the breast. So it didn't seem like it was an infection or anything like that. Um, so in this instance, if it's not an infection, 
and I'm thinking, like I said, maybe she has a, a plug, um, a plug duct in the nipple or the baby's just not emptying one side out effectively or whatever. Or maybe by the time the baby gets to that side, the baby's pretty full and the baby's pretty much, even though the baby's on that side, he's, he or she is just probably really just using you as a pacifier at that point. I don't know. But here are some tips that you can utilize. And so um, one thing that you can do is when you are taking your bath, when you're taking your shower, allowing that hot water to run over your breast because that's going to help to stimulate um, your milk flow and help get things going and flowing. So allowing the hot water to run over your breast and massaging your breast to help get things flowing. Okay, so that is a tip for if you are if your breasts are full, um, but maybe the baby's not emptying out one of the breasts effectively or something like that. Um, if you're dealing with the sore nipples, um, one thing that you can do is you can be before nursing and after nursing, you can express some of your milk and just massage it onto your nipple area because your, your breast milk has healing components within it and it will help to heal your nipples. So, you know, just massaging, um, your nipples with your breast milk and, um, after nursing, you want to allow your breast, your nipple area to dry completely before covering up. So this way it can help to alleviate infection or anything like that because you don't want to put your 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 breast um away and it's still kind of moist you know what i'm saying so you want to allow it to you know completely dry before you cover um your breast up put your breast in your bra or whatever the case may be um another tip is you want to um Look to your baby and see if your baby is using you as a pacifier. All of my children use me as a pacifier. Um, there were times where I knew they were using me as a pacifier and I allowed it to be and there were times I didn't. Um, because there were times that they did cause me to be um, really sore. And so immediately when you know your baby's done nursing or the baby's falling asleep and the baby's just pretty much using you as a pacifier, what you want to do is break the latch. And um, there are videos on that um, where you can you can see how you go about breaking the latch. What I would do when I, when I was nursing is I would use my pinky finger or my pointer finger. And what you do is you stick your finger inside the baby's mouth in between the baby's gums. Um, and, and that helps to open up the baby's mouth a little more widely. And that helps you to slip your nipple out and you break um, the suction, the latch. Um, and this can also happen if the baby is not latched properly. So it can happen if the baby's using you as a pacifier, but it can also happen if the baby's not latched properly. And if the baby's not latched properly, um, it would be wise to see a lactation consultant. So the lactation consultant can, um, help you to latch, get the baby to latch on properly. You know, you want to make sure as much of your, um, areola area of your breast is in the baby's mouth as possible um and not just the nipple part because not only if it's if it's just the nipple part not only is your baby not going to be getting um enough milk effectively um then it could also create some soreness so those are the things that you um want to to look into um aside from that aside from those tips one thing i do want to say is when you first start nursing, and this is not to deter anyone from nursing, but when you first start nursing, whether this is your first baby or your third baby, especially if you haven't had a break in between, because sometimes you do have it where you have a baby and then you wind up pregnant again and um, you're nursing two babies at a time or things of that nature. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if it's your first child or even if it's not your first child, but there's been a break in between. Um you're going to experience just a little bit of soreness in that area just because your nipples have to get back used to um, being nursed on. Um, but it should not be so sore to the point that you don't want to nurse because if it's so sore to the point you don't want to breastfeed, 
you probably not latched on correctly, you need to see a lactation consultant. Um, if it's lasting for weeks on end, you're probably not latched on right or something's going on, see a lactation consultant. So when I'm speaking about that soreness um, that I remember experiencing, it was only maybe for the first few days, maybe first week, because your, your breasts have to get you know you're not your breast but your nipple area has to get that toughness back so it can endure <laughs> um the baby um nursing um so once you're you're past that period if you are experiencing um a lot of uncomfortability things of that nature i do recommend that you see a lactation consultant that said i'm going to leave you with those tips that i shared with you that right there and um the information i share with you I hope that this information was beneficial and it helps one of you moms out there um, in um, being able to discern, you know, whether or not you need to see a lactation consultant or what's going on or what have you. Um, and I just say I look forward to uh, chatting with you in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. Peace, love and light and wellness.